Hey, how you doing out there in YouTube land? This is Toledo coming at you from the wild, wild west. Hope everybody's doing okay Okay today. I hear the President of the United States is headed back to the White House today. And he, he's telling everybody that we don't need to worry about the coronavirus. But anyway, let's get down to business. Hope everybody's doing okay out there. And I do think the coronavirus is a serious thing to, to pay attention to. Okay, we got one coming today. This is an eBay purchase from Atlantic Knife. And let's open it up and see what it is. I hope it's what I think it is. Let's see what we're going to use to open it up today. How about an old time favorite? Tiger Claw. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted. It's the one I've been wanting. It's the one I've been waiting for. It's another budget blade, but it's one that I'm really interested in. It's by a company called CJRB. CJRB. It's like the budget, um, the what do you call it, the budget knife, knife group of uh, artisan knives. Artisan knives. They're a Chinese. Uh, knife manufacturing company but they make high quality knives high budget knives expensive knives and this is their, this is their budget line of knives CJRB and the reason why I'm getting this one because it's a flipper with a crossbar lock uses wolf springs CJRB uses wolf springs I, I find that a lot, of, a lot of people are using these wolf springs and they must be some good, really good springs it says made in China but this is a good Chinese knife maker. It's not a bad Chinese knife maker from what I understand from everything I've seen on the internet and YouTube videos from other reviewers. I've watched everybody's reviews. All my favorite reviewers, like, you know, um, that I like to watch. And everybody's done reviews on these just about. And they seem to be pretty popular. So I, I wanted to check it out. I don't really care where something comes from. I, I just care that it's good quality. I don't like junky knives. Junky, janky knives. The price is not what makes something junky. It's the, it's the way the knife is actually made to me. I don't, I'm not one of those kind of people that believes that good things are always expensive. I don't believe that. Good looking. Okay, not, not any literature or anything in the box. Just says Instagram CJRB space cutlery. Not a whole lot of markings on the box either. It's OD green. I got the OD green version. I wanted to check it out. It's got a good weight to it. The fit and finish on this is nice. It's not like the master cutlery knife that I had. That I sent the master cutlery knives back. And the and the eBay seller that sold them to me is really cool about it because he you know he accepted the refund and everything. I mean the return or whatever. Still waiting on my refund though. I was supposed to have it by the seventh of this month. But he has received them. And he told me that he's received them. Fit and finish on this one's nice. And this is an artisan, art, artisan, um, artisan or artisan cutlery. I can't, I can't, um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Somebody correct me if I'm not. Artisan? I think it's artisan or something like that. Blade thickness is nice. It goes all the way through the tip. Just like I like. It's actually a really nice looking knife. Has a nice weight to it. This feels like real. This is real G10, and I like the way that the fitment is around the the pivot screws. I like this one. I think I'm gonna get that other one. They have another one that's has more of like a like a clip, like a meat cleaver or a cleaver type blade. I think I'm gonna try that one out too. I like this one. 
So far, I would recommend these. I like the way they did the um, the backspacer. They color matched it. That's I don't know why everybody doesn't do that. I think that looks so much better when you, especially if you're using like a, a, a G10 backspacer along with G10 scales. Make the spacer look just like the scales. That's just common sense to me. It just looks so much better than like having just a black one or something, like a generic black one. Very, very well done. Finish on the blade's nice too. Let's see how it opens. Oh, I like it. It's smooth. I found a Chinese maker I like. I have lots of Taiwan, you know, knives that are made in Taiwan that are excellent knives, but I don't have that, I don't have any except for the SOGs I really like. The two SOGs that I've tried out that I really like from China. I'm looking at the grind lines. They're the same on both sides. So this grinds, the, the, the finish on the metal is really nice. It says JRB. J I can't, it's, the lettering's really small. My eyes aren't, I need new glasses. D2 still. This says China. And right here it says CJRB. So that's what it says on this side too. It's just real small. The blade feels sharp. The edge feels really sharp. Balance is right there where your finger choice would be. So the balance is perfect on it. See how this lock works? Oh, it just drops, drops. Oh man, I like this. It is smooth. Let me see what it feels without flipping it. Oh yeah, that's smooth. Okay. They like Hogue. They polish. They polish the the blade tang. Okay, I'm liking this company. I'm liking this company. C J R B. C J R B. And this is a this is the um, kicker flipper. 39 bucks. 39 bucks on eBay. This is the best budget blade I've seen so far. Oh yeah, the whole tang is polished. Oh man. The, the tang, the liners, everything's polished. I don't see any grind lines on anything. This is a really nice little knife. I bet you the, I bet you the artisan knives are really nice. Because if this is their budget blade... Oh yeah, that's really nice. And it's smooth and it's fast. It doesn't have any. I like. I like how it doesn't have a um, thumb studs on it. They don't want you to use the thumb studs. They just want you to use the, the kicker. I like this. I like this, people. This is a nice one. I'm. I'm I feel like I'm not naturally trying to go for a thumb stud. <laughs> I'm so used to having thumb stud knives. I like this one. It's got thick liners that go all the way through it, so this is probably a strong axis lock too, or, or lock bar type lock. See, it's got thick liners going all the way through it. No flex. No flex. I love it. Okay. I found a new brand I like. I'm digging this one. I'm digging this one. Let's see how sharp it is. Let me get a piece of paper. I'm digging this one, people. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. Let's get the scale, too. This is a nice one. This is one I'm going to recommend. I like this one. Let me, see. Let me check up the edge. I know it's going to be sharp. It's supposed to be a, a premium cutlery company. Oh. Oh. Oh, look, it's all the way through the edge. There's no fault in anywhere in the edge. Watch, all the way through the edge. Start way back here at the choil. Look at that. All the way through. I love it. I highly recommend this. This is a nice, this is a nice knife. It's one of the nicer ones, nicer ones I've tried out. Let's see how much it weighs. I like it. I'm definitely going to get the other one. 
this is this is a, this is probably one of the nicest knives I've ever seen come from China. I'll tell you the truth. Just like a two hundred dollar knife, the way the quality is. Okay, here we go. Four point six ounces. Okay, let me give you let me give you the specs on it. I got the specs on the internet. Blade length three point five two inches. Close length four point seven five inches. Overall length eight point two seven inches. Blade material D two tool steel. Blade thickness, 0 0.126, 3.2 millimeters. Blade hardness, 58 to 60 HRC. Blade style, reverse tanto. Blade grind, flat grind. Blade finish, stone wash. Okay, that's why I like the finish. It's got, it's got, it's got a really fine stone wash, so it's got this really nice. It's like a high-end stone wash. It's not like the stone wash you get on the less expensive knives. Really nice. Where was I at? Okay, handle material OD Green G10. Liner material stainless steel. Locking mechanism, they call it the recoil lock. This is a recoil lock, which is their name for their with their with basically an axis lock. I've seen one of these taken apart and has omega as they use the the, um, the wolf omega springs in it. But basically it looks different because it was made, I was told before the patent got released and so they were trying to make their own version of the access lock. It's got a stop pin up front and a stop pin back here in the back. Oh, that's not the stop pin, that's the slide, that's the, that's the lock bar slide. And it slides back, you grab it up here and the kicker comes up. I love it. 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 Pocket clip, stainless steel, tip up, left, uh, right and left carry. Weight 4.66 ounces, that's right. Made in China. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. So you can see the, the lock bar. I'm showing you this like an axis lock, that's what I'm trying to show you. They call it a recoil lock, but it's really an axis lock or a lock or a crossbar lock. Let's call it a crossbar lock. It's not an axis lock. It's not a bench made. It's got bench made quality. It's got Hogue quality, I would say. This is like on level with Hogue. The blade tang is polished. You don't see any grind lines on the blade tang. Can you see what I'm looking at? And that part right there is where the... Um, crossbar rest so if that is gritty at all when you pull back on the crossbar to release the knife you will feel it this one feels smooth it feels like a hogue that's the best thing I can compare it to is a hogue but this is only 39 bucks 39 bucks with D2 G10 super high quality very very high quality this is I would say this is the best deal for 39 bucks I don't think you're gonna find a nicer knife with a crossbar lock for 39 bucks. So far, that's what I gotta say. I haven't seen my Gerber yet. The Gerber's on the way, but the Gerber's gonna have 7CR um, stainless steel, which is like a low grade. It's even worse than 8CR, I assume. So the steel on that one's not that nice, but the, the knife looks nice, but this one is like, I would, I would tell everybody to go out and get one of these. If you want a nice crossbar lock knife, Look at that. That's it's built really sturdy. Let me compare it to something. Let me compare it to something. Yeah. Let me compare it to something. Okay. These are some of my nicer crossbar lock knives. The ones that aren't in my um, EDC box. Okay, these are my uh, bench maids. This whole bottom part is bench maids. These are Hogs. Okay, let's take a look at one of the, the Sogs. But the Sog is sort of made, the reason why I'm pulling out the Sog because 
I don't know if you can see the stainless steel liners because everything's black, but the, it's built like a sog. And the, the thickness of the liners is, I don't know, the sog liners might on the on this one might be a little bit thicker than the, um, I don't know, they're close, so who knows. The blade's are definitely thicker than a sog. And anyway, I'm going to let you look at them. It's got the full liners like the like like you can see on the on the SOG TAC XR. This one has a really nice handle if you ask me. I think the SOG TAC XR has a super nice handle. I wish they would have made the blade stock a little bit thicker though. Maybe it made it more like a three you know three millimeter or something or make it a little bit more thicker all the way through the blade. Look at that. That's a nice blade on this. Can you see? Can you guys see that? That's a really nice blade. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Let me see a hug. Okay, the hugs don't use the stainless steel liners all the way through the handle. They only come to back to right about here, where you can see the screw, which is how a lot of bench maids are made. I think Hogue made theirs like, like a bench made, only a little bit stronger because they use thicker inserts in the front and a, and a, real, and a real big stop pin. But compared to Hogue, look at that. I would say the quality on this is exceptional for 39 bucks. This is a hundred this is a hundred and seventy four dollar knife. Now this one, I, I looked at it today on the website. Well I bought it, it was sixty five bucks. And I, maybe I, maybe it's because I bought it during the, the Labor Day weekend or something like that. I can't remember. I think it was a holiday weekend, but this one I bought it was sixty five dollars. And my terminus was forty three dollars. And terminus now they have it listed on the SOG site. I bought them from SOG. Um, SOG site listing it, the Terminus for 55 the same one I have, and they're listing this one at 75 So I guess those are the regular prices. So this one costs almost twice as much as this one. And honestly, I like this one better. They're both from China. Both of these are from China. I don't know. This one could be made by Artisan too. I don't know who makes this one. Because SOG is contracting out to a company in China. And it's a very high quality SOG. I mean, high quality Chinese made knife. So it could be coming from the same factory. Which would sort of make sense to me because the way that they're built with these thick liners. Kind of similar. But the stop pins and stuff like that are different. I don't know. I don't know who makes this, but... This is a, this is a high quality knife too from China. It's one that, that's why I like the, the, the saw, these two saws, the terminus and this one. The terminus didn't, was wasn't that smooth when I first got it, but now it's smooth. I think it's just because the painted parts had to wear off. I love this. I love all three of these, but I'm only putting one of them in my box because I got too many knives in my my regular EDC box. So I picked one out of the, all the ones I've gotten, or I shouldn't say gotten all the ones I've received. And I chose the Vision. You guys know I like the Vision the best out of all the SOGs that I received. And this is the one that's in my box out of all the hogs I have. These are my other hogs right here. And this one I like the best, the Doug Ritter. And yes, you could spider flick it. <laughs> Very cool. I love this one. And especially if you if you're like me, you sort of don't think that every knife needs to have um, thumb studs on it. This makes a real clean knife. I really like this one. CJRB. Okay, y'all remember that. CJRB. This is a good company here. 
They're making some high quality stuff. I would say go get one because I bet you the price of these are going to go up because these are going to be popular. They're hard to get too because they sell out everywhere. I was trying to get it from the knife center, but they were sold out on the ones I wanted. So I went, so I went to eBay and I found it on eBay, thirty-nine bucks. Absolutely love it. It's a nice size. The grip is comfortable. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend it. If you get a chance to go on eBay and check this out, I would suggest that you do. If you've been on the fence about getting one of these, get it. It's absolutely a beautiful knife. It's the best $39 knife I've seen. The one that would compare with this one in price I paid for it. Would be the Terminus. The Terminus is a sweet little knife too though. The one I got this one is a little bit rough. But when you play with it I think you wear out the wear down the paint. I think the paint around because the whole blade tang is painted and everything. So I think you have to wear out the paint. See, the Terminus is made more like this one, where you got the stop pin up front. Let me see if I can show that to you. See the stop pin, stop pin, they're both in the same place. And they both use the, um, the, the lock or the, the, the cross the crossbar I think is a stop for the blade. I think that's what they're doing. They both come up the same way. I wouldn't be surprised if these sogs are made by artisan or artisan. Artisan or CJRB. Oh, another thing too, the, the screws are flush for the deep carry lock, I mean deep carry on clip. The screws are flush. It's very well made. They don't have an all blacked out one though, so I couldn't get an all blacked out one. You know, I like the all blacked out knives. Pretty obvious, huh? <laughs> Absolutely love it. Let me compare it to a Benchmade, one that we can see the parts on. This is a Benchmade has. This is a Contigo, so it's the hip, it's one of the heavy duty Benchmade. It's not an Adamus, but it's still pretty heavy duty. More heavy duty than like normal Benchmades. It's got like a, almost a four millimeter blade, three point eight millimeter blade. Let's see that has a stop pin in the same place, but this one has a real big stop pin. That's, the, that's a stop pin right there. There you go, right there. And this one has liners that go all the way through the knife. Most of the black class bench maids are made a little bit better than the other ones. And they usually have stainless steel liners that go all the way through the knife. That's how this one's made. I think that's how you make these the strongest, is when, when you have a liner that goes all the way through it. Because one of the big important parts of making a crossbar lock strong is number one, you got to have a strong crossbar. Number two, you have to have a strong frame. So you have to have strong stainless steel liners. If those two parts aren't strong, then it's gonna make it it's gonna make it weak. It's gonna fall apart. I absolutely love it. Now these are like a two hundred dollar knife. It's competing with knives like that. 
This one's, this one's EDC friendly. It's lightweight. I love that. Looks like a scimitar, huh? They call it a reverse tomto. I'd call it a scimitar. <laughs> I absolutely love it. It's like it's got Asian style. You know what I mean? It's not like they're trying to look like a a U.S. a U.S. maker's style of blade or whatever. They're 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 going with their Asian Asian style. I love that. They're being who they are. They probably take a lot of pride in making these. This look this this is a knife that looks like it has a lot of pride into it. Absolutely love it. Look at the finish on that. I don't know if you can see the finish. Very high quality knife. You don't find knives that look this nice for, for under a hundred dollars. This is the nicest knife I've seen for under a hundred bucks. They probably want to get these out there so they put them at a price range where people will buy them. So people, they're trying to introduce themselves. I would say go get it. Go get it. This is a winner. This one's a winner. Absolutely love it. Totally glad I got it. Super smooth. I like it how it doesn't have thumb studs. I love it. Even though I always, I'm still finding myself trying to reach for the thumb studs, I'm glad it doesn't have them. That's about all I got for today. This is what came today. Just came in the mail. I thought I'd make a quick video on it because I wanted to open it up and look at it. <laughs> and I, wanted to, I wanted to share the unboxing with you guys. Guys and gals, whoever's watching the video. I would highly recommend this one. This is the nicest knife I've ever seen come from China. This is my SOGs. The Chinese SOGs I have. The two, uh, the Terminex. The Terminus and the, um, the Terminus and the, uh, 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 Attack X, XR. I think this one might be a step above those in quality. So they sort of look like they could be coming from the same place, though. But this knife looks like they're trying to make a name for themselves. As being a, a good quality manufacturer of blades. All right, well, that's it for today. Peace out. I hope everybody's doing well. Peace. Stiletto. Go get one. Go get one.